Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you guys are new here. For today's video, I am going to be showing you guys what my reset and self-care routine looks like as a mom. I would love to say that I'm able to do this weekly, but realistically, it's more like monthly or whenever I can fit it in when I feel like I need it. But if you're a mom, then you know that that can be hard to give yourself some self-care sometimes, which is pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> So I thought I would show you guys what my personal reset looks like. I am a part-time stay-at-home mom. I also work part-time. So we live a pretty busy, chaotic life most times. And finding time to relax can be really hard. So first things first, when I woke up, I made myself a coffee. Actually, I've had a couple coffees now at this point. And cozied up on the couch with a good book. And then I decided to take a shower, get myself all clean, throw my hair up, and put some some makeup on to make myself feel pretty and cute. And now that I've gotten myself ready for the day, I am going to reset my mind by doing some yoga. My body definitely needs it because it is screaming at me, especially my lower back. So I'm gonna do some stretches and some yoga. I'm gonna meditate a little bit while I do that. And then I'm also going to do a very much needed journal entry. I don't know what it is about doing journal entries, but I swear, I swear they have changed my life for the better. I just feel like I constantly have so many thoughts and so much going on in my head because I am like high stress and high anxiety like all the time. And writing things down sometimes just really helps me offload a lot of it and then give my mind more clarity and, and really put some things into perspective because as soon as that pen hits that paper, things just start flowing. But I just made myself some granola, yogurt, blueberries. And while I enjoy my granola yogurt bowl, I am also pre-uploading my 28th birthday weekend vlog. I like to get them pre-uploaded and out of the way so I don't have to stress about it later. So yeah, we're just, we're just chilling. Another thing that I like to do for self-care is reset my space. Keeping up my space around me clean and tidy does help me keep clarity of mind. If my surroundings are cluttered, my mind is going to be cluttered as well. So I don't do anything major, not like a huge deep clean or anything like that, but just pick away at a few chores. If there's dishes in the sink, I'll deal with that. Wipe the tables, do some laundry, and I really need to wash our bedding, so I'm going to rip off all the sheets and the pillowcases 
and wash our entire bedding as well because it's definitely far overdue.
Alrighty guys, that is it. I'm feeling very cozy, very reset mentally, physically. Basically, as you guys saw, like me resetting myself is just a plethora of getting cozy, doing some cozy hobbies, having nice warm drinks, like a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, sometimes a hot cocoa. Obviously the activities that I do to kind of help reset myself do vary sometimes. Rain, why are you so crazy right now? Oh my God, okay. You need to stop. So like sometimes I will play my Nintendo Switch and cozy up in the bedroom or on the couch, but other times I will decide to play some games on the Xbox or watch one of my favorite comfort movies or comfort shows. But yeah, so that is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are just some of the many things that I do to help reset myself, center myself, give myself some me time because it's very very much needed so if you're a mom and you need to reset yourself comment down below what are some things that you do to reset you but thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it make sure to give it a like and subscribe down below for more content like this and we will see you guys in the next one bye everyone I